part 2 of solvent extraction will cover step or sequence of solvent extraction factors affecting solvent extraction and third is the choice of solvent steps or sequences of extraction process actual practice of the solvent extraction will vary from system to system but all extraction process may involve the following three basic steps first is the formation of distributable species second is distribution of distributable species between two phases and third is interaction in the organic phase we have two phases one is known as aqueous phase another one is organic phase now the complexing agent that is also known as ligand and it will form a complex with metal ion due to its organic nature it is more soluble in organic phase it is represented by l metal has inorganic nature so it is more soluble in aqueous phase as compared to organic phase so the first step is the formation of distributable species in first step there occur a reaction of metal ion with the complexing agent to form a complex in water the reaction may be represented as follows so metal ion it will combine with ligand it will produce ml and that is a complex so first step the ligand will move to the aqueous phase and it will combine with the metal ion and it will produce a complex second is the distribution of distributable species now this is the distributable species it will distribute itself between two phases after the formation the distributable species move across the boundary so here it is the boundary between the two phases that is also known as interphase until the equilibrium is established so this is the complex in organic phase it is in equilibrium with the complex in aqueous phase so this is the second step third step is the interaction in the organic phase after moving across the phase boundary the extractable complex may undergo polymerization or dissociation or may undergo interaction with the other component in the organic phase all these possible interaction will affect the distribution and may result as significant differences between distribution ratio and distribution coefficient so here it depends on the nature of this complex either it will undergo polymerization in organic phase or it will undergo association or dissociation or there may be there are many combination with the organic phase so when there is an interaction with the organic phase it will differ the, the value of distribution ratio from distribution coefficient because here in this case we will use the whole sum or we will use the all uh, species that are present in the organic phase and in this case we will use the organic divided by aqueous phase so it will it will cause a difference in d and kd when there is an interaction with the organic phase either polymerization association or dissociation factors affecting solvent extraction first is the masking agent so the masking agent are the metal complexing agent which do not allow to extract unwanted metal ion with the metal of interest so here we have two metal ion one is the metal of interest another one is the metal unwanted masking agent is added to the system so it will form it will uh, form bond with the uh, metal unwanted and the metal of interest is available free for reaction with the ligand so it is easily extractable with the ligand so in metal extraction procedure these are introduced to improve the separation factor and the masking agent are used to prevent unwanted metal ion to produce extractable complex hence it increases the selectivity of the procedure eta is the most useful masking agent there are several other reagents given for example 8 quinolinol for iron cyanate and tartrate etc second is modifier we know that the extraction takes place at the interface 
the extract and can be assisted at the interface by the modifier or modifying agent that will increase the or that will change the interfacial parameter so it will increase the solubility of the solute in organic phase and it will also change the interfacial parameter that has improved kinetics and easily settling so high molecular weight alcohol are used as modifier for solvent extraction so this is the best modifier for solvent extraction because it has almost solubility in both the phases third factor is ph we can use acidic basic or neutral ph but it depends upon the nature of the excitable species at which ph it is more stable at which ph it is more excitable so there is a specific ph for every extraction procedure and there is a range of ph that can be used for the extraction procedure but we will use the optimal ph optimal ph at which the extraction is maximum so for metal extraction ph affect the stability and charge of the metal complex so that ph will be preferable for metal ion complex at which the metal ion complex is more stable and neutral so it can be easily extractable to the organic phase salting out effect this is a phenomena in which the electrolytes are added to the aqueous phase and it will decrease the solubility of organic solute in aqueous phase as a result it will increase the solubility of solute in organic phase so the solubility of many organic compound in water is considerably decreased by the presence of dissolved inorganic salt so we will use the inorganic salt and we will dissolve these inorganic salt in the aqueous phase it will decrease the solubility of organic solute in aqueous phase because of a uh, increase in the ionic strength and decrease in the dielectric constant of the aqueous phase hence it will increase the solubility of the metal complex in the organic phase so sodium chloride is widely used for this purposes last factor is synergic agent so it is based on the phenomena of synergism in which the two reagent when used together extract the metal ion with enhanced efficiency compared to their individual actions so here is a example given the extraction of uranium will takes place with tbp as well as with tta so there are two reagents and both these reagent will extract the uranium from the aqueous phase but when we when we use these two reagent together it will enhance the efficiency of the extraction procedure as compared to when we use these separately so either both tbp and tta are individually capable for extracting uranium but if the mixture of these two are used together enhanced extraction is achieved this is known as synergism so synergic agent are also added to enhance the extraction procedure so these are the reagent which when added to the organic phase increases the efficiency of extraction they get associated with the metal complex make it more soluble in the organic phase which solvent will be selected for the extraction procedure or what are the properties of the solvent that is used for the extraction so there are some properties given high capacity of extraction high capacity of extraction mean that it has high solubility for the solute of interest so it can be easily soluble or it it will be highly soluble in the extracting solvent and it is easily extracted highly immiscible in the aqueous phase so we are using two phases and both these phases will be highly immiscible so one phase is the water or water based solution and the other phase is the organic solvent so which one organic solvent will be best the more polar the organic solvent the more it is miscible with the water so we will use that solvent that are non polar 
that organic solvent will be preferred that are non polar because the polar solvent will be miscible with the water so there are some example given polar solvent such as methanol ethanol and acetone are miscible with water so these are the least preferable choices and these are not used in the liquid liquid extraction organic solvent with low polarity or which mean that these are non polar just like hexane toluene dichloromethane and diethyl ether these are the preferable solvent for the solvent extraction third is toxicity and safety properties of the extraction solvent so the extraction solvent that is used in the solvent extraction procedure it should be non toxic and non flammable unfortunately there are few solvents available or we uh, we can say that there are few solvents available that can meet this criteria some solvent are non toxic but these are flammable for example diethyl ether hydrocarbon petroleum ether and hexanes some solvents are non flammable but these are toxic dichloromethane and chloroform and some solvent are both toxic and flammable such as benzene so there are few choices available that is non toxic and flammable so we will prefer that that solvent that is uh, that is causing less damage to the operator or that is causing less damage to the environment volatility of the extraction solvent the extraction solvent should be sufficiently volatile so that it can be removed easily from the extracted material by distillation it can be uh, easily volatile it has low boiling point so we can remove it easily from the extraction fifth parameter is poor solubility of impurities so major impurities that is from the reaction it should not be soluble in the extraction solvent other properties include low viscosity non toxic inexpensive easy to recover and sufficient density difference with the aqueous phase